If our eyes worked at a different wavelength, we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. Objects interact with the particle wave duality of light, continuously forming new electromagnetic waves. In a new theory, this universal and continuous process forms the time continuum or arrow of time itself. Therefore, the uncertainty and probability of everyday life is the same uncertainty we have in quantum physics. The atoms bond together and then collapse the wave particle duality of light in unison, forming the uncertainty of their own potential, future position and momentum relative to their energy or mass. The forward momentum of light is continuously creating a blank canvas for the observer that she or he can participate in. Therefore the observer will collapse the wave function creating his or her own independent reality of time and space. This is very difficult to visualize but in this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight using the terminology of quantum mechanics the wave particle duality of the light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. She will collapse the wave function into moments of time and space creating her own space-time geometry. This theory is based on two simple postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function explained by Stroessner's wave equation represents the forward passage of time or arrow of time itself photon by photon or moment by moment. The second postulate is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is formed by the wave function is the same uncertainty that we have with any future event. Modern physics has no understanding of why we have an arrow of time or a future and a past, but time in this theory is a continuous process forming the future geometry of space-time. Time is a hidden variable of quantum mechanics. In quantum atom theory, the atoms interact with light waves of electromagnetic radiation, continuously collapsing the quantum wave particle function, forming photons that form electrical charge and in turn form electrical magnetic fields in three dimensions. This forms a local space-time geometry. A time-varying electric field acts as a source of a magnetic field and a time-varying magnetic field are the source of electric fields. When either field is changing in time then a field of the other is induced. This will be relative to the position and momentum of the objects creating the time variation, the atoms themselves. Even the individual atoms of the observer are radiating electromagnetic radiation continuously. The observer will feel this as the continuous flow of time and as the aging process. On the level of everyday objects, the observer will see an infinite number of photon-electron couplings, creating a temporary image, moment by moment, or photon by photon. It is because the observer can choose when and where to collapse the wave function that we have free will. Life will create its own ripples in the fabric of space-time, forming its own broken symmetry of its own evolutionary path or timeline. It is because this process is at the same rate that light moves that the speed of light between the atoms will always be a universal constant independent of the motion of the source. This can also explain why light is so beautiful when it strikes an object. It is because we are looking at a moment of pure creation of time and space. We have probability propagating according to the laws of cause and effect. This gives us a coherent physical interpretation of quantum physics. Objects will form their own space-time geometry relative to their energy or mass. They will also form the uncertainty of their own future potential as time unfolds. The Planck constant H is a constant of action within the geometry of space-time forming part of a physical process that forms an independent objective reality that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. We see and feel this as the forward passage of time and as the uncertainty and probability of everyday life. We see a temporary image of the universe moment by moment, continuously changing made up of an infinite number of photons. The deep fundamental difference between quantum and classical mechanics 
is that quantum mechanics represents the forward passage of time itself. Objects form their own space-time geometry, forming a square of probability. Therefore we have Einstein's famous equation, energy equals mass, times the speed of light squared. This theory unites quantum physics with Einstein's theory of general relativity. I hope to base this theory on pure mathematics and therefore pure physics. I believe this can be done in just three dimensions and one variable time. Each photon-electron coupling represents zero, representing a new moment in time, the moment of now, with the positive numbers marching off towards an infinite future and the negative numbers receding towards a limitless past, the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. This theory gives us an intuitive picture, capturing the existence of an underlying layer of reality. That gives us an objective reality to quantum mechanics as a process of continuous symmetry forming and breaking, a process of continuous creation. If the laws of physics are universal, then this process, formed by the wave-particle duality of light, must be happening everywhere and must affect everything, even consciousness itself. Despite rapid progress, much about how the brain works remains a mystery, but what we do know is that our brains work by electrical impulses forming chemical changes. This electrical activity also forms electromagnetic fields. If these electrical impulses that cause chemical changes are formed by photons, then consciousness is formed by the physics of quantum mechanics. Therefore our thought processes could be seen as the most advanced part of a universal process and our hopes and dreams could be forming their own future space-time geometry.